Welcome back to the channel everyone, Thoughtcore here of course, and today we are going to take a look at a replay in the Sharnhorst, yes. So, loving the Sharnhorst obviously, not a whole, long, uh, whole lot wrong with this new uh, premium ship we have in game, she's fantastic. Uh, and in fact, of course, you know, she does have the nickname of the Shiny Horse, and this is because she earns a lot of credits, and that's what we're going to see in this battle. I don't necessarily do a whole crap ton of damage. Uh, I think I finish uh, 62, 64,000 damage when all is said and done. Um, but the credits that I make is uh, quite something else. In the Sharnhorst, um, I do fire HE. I fire HE basically at everything when they're really far away. The only time I, I do switch over to uh, armor piercing is when I've got something like a, a cruiser or even maybe a lighter battleship who is in close to me and then I'm gonna switch over to my AP as long as you know they, they've got the broadside presented and you can expect your AP to do some really really nice damage because that's the trick with the Sharnhorst and her AP is that you know you really do have to have the target close in and broadside so close in would probably be about 10 kilometers 10 kilometers and under uh, you know that would be a good time to switch over to the armor piercing ideally you'd be timing it so that the armor piercing is loaded when you have say the cruiser's broadside so you can pump those in to the cruiser get a few citadels and hopefully even get the kill but anyway Anyway, we are on uh, Northern Lights, or mm, this might just be North, one of those. <laughs> We're on this map, <laughs> and it's standard battle. We don't have to worry about any sort of bases to cap, which is great. Um, I was checking out those torpedoes launched by my Ally uh, Destroyer there. It almost looked like that Ally Destroyer was going to hit our other Ally Destroyer. Um, I don't, I know that those torpedoes are being shot off for area denyment and all that crap, but this is the beginning of the game, there's not going to be anyone there, <laughs> why, why would you waste all your torpedoes like that, um, and, and then wait on the reload, it, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but whatever, whatever, as long as that person's having fun, I suppose. Taking a look at the minimap, we do see how the enemy team is, uh, or rather how my team is sort of spreading itself out. We are going heavy over on the west side, yeah, on the west side basically, but we do have a number of allied ships, myself included, who are still central in the map, still in and around basically our, our base, right? Um, you don't necessarily want to or you know, camp your base or anything like that, um, but at these beginning stages of the battle, like we discuss basically in every video, you do kind of want to sort of circle around and, and figure out where the enemy is going, where your team is going, before you really commit yourself to, to one set direction. Those tactics obviously would change uh, depending on the ship you're in. For example, if you were in a really slow battleship, you probably want to figure out where you want to go early on and you want to set your ship in that direction and basically just sail in that direction the whole game because by the time you get there, battle will be over. Anyway, we have some destroyers off in the distance there. We can see I'm putting some shots out. Uh, the first destroyer I shot at, took a few pot shots off, didn't do too much damage. Uh, the second destroyer there, I've got some shots coming in and they land and they, they do a bit of damage. So that's not too bad at all. Set some fires, but obviously those fires are not going to burn. Um, you know, again, early in the game, that player most likely is able to repair that fire damage right away. We can see another enemy ship off in the distance once again, putting some shots into him. Um, I believe it is the, it's either the Geisenau or or, um, or the Sharnhorse, one of those two. Can't quite remember now. But anyway, putting some shots into that player, hoping to, um, you know, just set a few fires here as well. Uh, you know, the HE um, shells on the German ships aren't so great. Um, I'm still running the uh, Turbits Captain in my Sharnhorst here, uh, but I, like I said, I have been considering actually just getting a whole new captain uh, specifically for their Sharnhorst so that he can focus on uh, HE. Um, uh, however, that being said, now that I think about it, with the retrained. Um, Hindenburg captain, yes, I'll just put the Hinden play the Hindenburg captain in there. There we go, fantastic, figured it out. <laughs> we can see several enemy ships off in the distance. Um, you know, there are quite a few enemy ships over here on the west side, but we also do notice a few enemy ships on the minimap who are sort of still central, right? The biggest 
threat I, I, I would see right now is that destroyer who's down there where C would normally be. That's a pretty big threat. I mean, these battleships and cruisers off in the distance over here on the west side, they're not too much of a threat right now because they're not pushing beyond, you know, they're still getting in position. But that little destroyer has the capacity, you know, to get in there or to get into our base uh, behind our lines and really cause some havoc. Uh, luckily, one of my teammates was all over that and uh, that enemy destroyer is gone, so we don't have to worry about the player anymore. Enemy uh, New Mexico, maybe, <laughs> off in the distance, uh, putting a few shots into this player, hoping again to set a few fires, because that's really what I'm trying to do in the Sharnhorst here, is to set some fires and get some consistent damage going over time here. Um, the Sharnhorst is really good close in. She's a you know good fighter at close in, and I like her at, at range as well. Um, but what you do need to keep in mind with the Sharnhorst as well, you know, it's she is a tier 7 battleship, so she doesn't have the best armor so you do want to watch out for incoming shots from enemy battleships um, specifically you know battleships of a higher tier because you do not want to receive too many of those hits especially to the broadside you will um, you know lose a lot of health very very quickly we also see an enemy Dun uh, Dunkirk back there we saw him briefly he is back there that Dunkirk player made me made me sad <laughs> Because I, I love my Dunkirk. Um, I The Dunkirk is, you know, a really, really nice battleship at Tier 6. At least I, I find, anyway. Um, and to see someone playing it with just such poor, poor skills, it makes me very, very sad. <laughs> very sad, indeed. <laughs> Putting some more shots off, or rather, you know, just sizing up some of these enemies off in the distance. Um, probably going to fire again here at the enemy, uh, Colorado. But I am working my way over to the east of the map now um, because there are some enemy ships over here on the east and if we look at my allied ships that I have over here in the east to protect this zone here, this little channel, it's a cruiser, a uh, destroyer, and then way off in the distance we have a battleship, but we can't count on that battleship because the battleship has decided to go all the way over there to the east and now doesn't have any shots and anything at all in the game, so great. Anyway, I decide that I'm going to come over here and uh, I'm going to try and help support these people. Um, Sharn Horse is a great ship to lead the charge, so if I can get in here and, and you know, maybe lead the charge through the, this channel here, I'm definitely going to do it. Hopefully my allies are going to follow suit and uh, support me as I do so. We see an enemy Atlanta off in the distance. I get some sneaky shots off at the player while we start maneuvering ourselves into position to begin opening fire at these enemy ships once we move beyond the channel. Did some critical damage there to the Atlanta, probably knocked out a turret or maybe some AA or something like that. Uh, probably not anything too significant. I have some allies over here with me as well, as I mentioned. And it does look as though these allies are making some moves to, um, you know, they can see that I'm heading for that, uh, that gap, that opening there in the channel. And hopefully, you know, it does seem as though they're making some moves to get into position to help support me, which would be fantastic. We do have an enemy, uh, what is that, guys now? Guys, now we're Sharon Horst off in the distance, so we are going to have to deal with this player. Now, if we can manage to focus down the player, uh, my allies and I, that is, uh, we should be able to take out this player without too much of a hassle. Um, however, if, you know, we split our fire up, this could be a bit of an issue. Um, I know that the enemy destroyer, or the enemy battleship, sorry, is on uh, a little over half, half health right now, right? So, uh, we, there is that to our advantage, and we can see that the enemy battleship is totally on fire so we've got this working for us as well uh, so it is an enemy guys now and you can tell because of the um, number of guns in the turret right we only, I only see two guns there so obviously that's an enemy guys now I am selling broadside to the guys now this isn't really uh, a recommended thing to do the guys now does have or guys are now uh, I'm saying it wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, she doesn't have, or she does have really, really good guns on her. The dispersion on these guns are mm, lackluster. <laughs> Just put it lightly. <laughs> it's pretty bad, from what I understand. Um, but the ship itself is a pretty damn decent ship. I can't wait to get mine. Um, I'm still grinding through the Bayern, and I'm having trouble with the Bayern. Actually, I've been having some really shit games in that Bayern. It's yeah, I'm not liking it so much. I was liking it at first, and now it's like now that it's fully upgraded. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, torpedo hit on the uh, guys now there, and we managed to take the player down. Fantastic. And about 24 uh, secondary battery hits to that player as well, which is not too bad. Keep in mind, of course, manual fire control uh, is on for my captain here. 
I haven't purchased any modules for the Scharnhorst as of yet. Uh, I've been saving my money to buy the uh, the upgrades for the um, the donkey um, because you know those upgrades cost a lot. So that's what I've been saving my money for. But when I do start buying upgrades for the or module upgrades for the Scharnhorst, you can bet that I am going to be uh, decking out the secondary armament on the ship. I know the secondary armament isn't uh, that spectacular, but again, she's tier seven. And, you know, versus the other tier 7s, it's really just the Nagato that we'd have to worry about in terms of, you know, enemy battleships that have a lot of uh, secondary. And I think the Shine Horse can give the Nagato a run for her money, so there is that. We have another enemy battleship off in the distance, so we're putting shots into the player here. You can see landed a few shots, which isn't too bad, and managed to do a bit of damage to that player as well. Um, what is it? It's in uh, uh, Colorado, <laughs> is what I'll say. But whatever, we're putting shots into him nonetheless. Again, we can see the Dunkirk way off in the distance back there, sitting on full health as well, because at this point in time in the battle, a full health battleship usually is the thing you want to have. Note the sarcasm. <laughs> anyway, we continue to put shots, or rather, I'm, you know, tempting to put shots into the enemy battleship there, but you can see my carrier captain was all over that one, manages to take out the enemy Colorado with the dive bomber, so that is fantastic. Put a few shots off into the uh, enemy Dunkirk, there and then I'm gonna start looking at the enemies off on the west sides uh, west side maybe start sizing those guys up see what I can um, do against them but it you know it does look like they have their hands full with some of my allies so I may as well just keep putting shots into the Dunkirk hopefully set the Dunkirk on fire now, what is making me so angry about what the Dunkirk is doing um, one it's the the terrible, terrible battleship strategy that is catching on and I don't even it's not even a strategy it's just a I don't know, it's terrible, of uh, the battleship staying in the back at max r max firing range. Th this is stupid. <laughs> I don't understand it. Uh, it is dumb. I don't know why people are doing it, but this is what the Dunkirk captain is doing. And, of course, on top of that, the Dunkirk captain, uh, to his credit, though, to his credit, he is keeping his bow pointed towards whatever target is actually firing at him, so there's that. That's good. Um, but, you know, has the ship in a slow reverse, keeping her at um, max range, and you can see um, also firing HE at me. I mean, yeah, HE is probably the th way to go with the... Um, against the Sharn Horse here, maybe. Uh, bow on like this, but still. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's not, not, not so great. Um, and the dispersion on the Dunkirk, you know, it, it isn't that great. Um, the dispersion is can be cumbersome at times, and the further out you are, the worse that dispersion is going to get. Uh, the Dunkirk obviously is not a ship that you want to play too close in, um, but it's also not a ship that you want to stay 19 kilometers away from people at it. That's just not a good idea. <laughs> so I have made my push through the channel. I'm in the enemy base, and we are starting to cap the enemy base as well, which is great. You can see one of my enemy, or sorry, one of my allied cruisers also pushed through the channel with me as well, and that player is engaging some enemy ships that are over there on the east. I uh, believe it's a destroyer, maybe, so that's great. I am coming under fire from the enemy aircraft carrier although the enemy aircraft carrier has taken a beating so far in this battle and we can tell that because the squadrons that are coming at me are not full squadrons um, I know that uh, you know one of those torpedo squadrons was full and one was empty which tells me that the enemy aircraft carrier does not have any more reinforcements for the torpedo bombers so we just shot down I think all of the torpedo bombers except one and we did shoot down a pretty good number of the dive bombers and of course it wasn't just me we, we could see there there was my allied carrier um, he had or that player had his fighters you know in the fray helping me out there so that's fantastic easily able to dodge the torpedoes from the enemy um, torpedo bombers you know no big deal here at all still far and away at the enemy Dunkirk and like I say to the player's credit he is keeping his bow face towards me so that means the shots that I have going into the Dunkirk aren't doing a whole lot of damage but to be frank, I didn't expect them to do a whole lot of damage. I'm firing HE. All I wanted to do was set a fire. More shots come in from the Dunkirk. You can see he managed to set me on fire, but that would have been an excellent, excellent opportunity for armor piercing right there. Could have done a whole lot more damage, or at least potentially a whole lot more damage. The Dunkirk, seeing as though that player is just sort of sitting in the back, I am going to start focusing down the Tirpitz, because the Tirpitz is obviously going to be the bigger threat. Um, the player is, you know, closer to me, 
and um, actually has you know a decent chance of doing some good damage here to me as well. So yeah, gonna tr focus on this tor uh, turpits here and try and take the player down. We can see the one enemy torpedo bomber coming back to attack me. So it uh, looks like we were pretty correct in our assumptions that the enemy uh, aircraft carrier doesn't have any more torpedo reinforcements. And there we go, we shot down the enemy torpedo bomber. So now we know that there will be no more enemy torpedo bombers coming at us, which is fantastic. We do manage to do a bit of damage to the turpets. Uh, I have a lot of my allies here as well, firing in on the turpets player as well, which is fantastic. Always great to see uh, concentrating fire, right? Um, it is really, really helpful when uh, people do actually concentrate your fire you will find that enemy ships just melt um, under that amount of uh, you know firepower and pressure there's just not anything there's just not a whole lot that they can do against it I do manage to get hit by one enemy dive bomber there it set me on fire but didn't do a whole lot of damage I, you know I didn't take a whole lot of damage this battle at all which was pretty surprising normally in my Sharn horse I'm taking a crap ton of damage and that's because I play her very very aggressively <laughs> we have the enemy uh, Atlanta off in the distance and I immediately switch over to the Atlanta uh, the reason why I switch over to the Atlanta is the rate of fire on the Atlanta firing HE is obviously a big threat because this player can catch me on catch me on fire and continuously set me on fire now it just so happened as well that my fires burnt down the enemy hipper which or sorry the enemy turpits which is fantastic but still I would have switched over to the enemy Atlanta even if the turpits you know wasn't um, on his deathbed um, like we saw him so a few more shots go into the Atlanta or go on their way out to the Atlanta land and take out the engines on the Atlanta which is fantastic um, now we should be able to take out this player without any issue whatsoever and then start focusing on the Dunkirk there we go enemy Atlanta's gone now we're gonna try and take out this Dunkirk I mean I say try it's gonna be very very easy <laughs> very very easy indeed uh, you can see more of my allies have joined me here in the enemy base so together we are all capping out the enemy base the enemies only have four ships remaining uh, the Dunkirk they have an aircraft carrier and they have two destroyers remaining so the two destroyers are a pretty big concern of mine we can see one on the minimap there and near our base however we do have an allied ship up there protecting the base which is great it is a battleship but uh, we do have have a pretty good lead here on the enemy uh, capture of the enemy base so we should be okay you can see I'm typing into chat here um, I'm, I'm being friendly about it I mean I was really frustrated but it, you know, be friendly at all times <laughs> so you know just letting uh, buddy know here that the Dunkirk is a great ship however the way that this player is playing it it is not going to be a good ship. Um, there's a lot of potential in the Dunkirk. I again, I love you know it's, she's a great battleship, really good battleship. Um, but if you play her like um, a, I guess a retard, <laughs> I didn't want to use the word, but we'll use it. Um, you know you can expect retarded results as well, right? It it just makes sense. Uh, we can see the Dunkirks finally switch over to the armor piercing, which is good. Unfortunately for the player, I was able to dodge the incoming shots. Uh, my allies are now in position to uh, you know start supporting me and helping uh, take down the enemy Dunkirk plowed right into my allied battleship here quick to throw up the old apology because it that was totally my fault <laughs> no excusing that <laughs> I wasn't paying attention I was just hooked on the Dunkirk here right trying to um, continuously set fire the enemy base is almost captured uh, we managed to take down one of the enemy destroyers now that of course would have been the enemy destroyer uh, who was in and around our base so that is great um, we just have this Dunkirk enemy aircraft carrier and uh, one more enemy destroyer to kill we're not gonna get all the enemy uh, ships killed in this battle though obviously right we're about a little over halfway capped on the enemy base here which is pretty pretty great we can see more shots going into the enemy at Dunkirk here again I'm continuously gonna fire high explosive at the player I know that my shells are landing and not doing a whole lot of damage but I am um, am I no I don't have any fire set to the Dunkirk so that that kind of sucks <laughs> the hope is to have a fire set to the Dunkirk right um, so that my damage numbers will continue to rise and obviously uh, the Dunkirk will sink faster um, that's one thing the Dunkirk does have uh, against her is it she seems to have just a crazy chance of being set on fire it, it's something else anyway enemy Dunkirk has gone fantastic we can see another enemy destroyer up near our base so obviously both those enemy destroyers destroyers were in and around our base uh, the enemy ship or sorry our allied ship up there is you know obviously going to provide some sort of defense um, all for naught though I mean again 
the enemy base is captured. I brought my ship to um, almost a stop there just to make sure I didn't sail out of the cap zone and prolong the battle even longer. But victory is ours. So like I said, um, you know, great game in the Sharn Horse. Eh, about, oh, I guess, uh, 66,000 damage is what I managed to do. So eh, not too bad. But 407,000 credits earned. That is great. On a side note as well, I, I do enjoy the little cruiser missions they have going on in ships right now. Interesting, though, that you you can complete these cruiser missions in any class of ship. I find that interesting. But anyway, anyway, 407,000 credits, not too shabby at all. Um, I did end up staying on this screen for a little while. The reason for it, uh, funny reason anyway, there was a wasp in my windowsill, yes. <laughs> so I was, during the battle, I was freaking out because that wasp was flying around my room. Uh, settled in the windowsill. As soon as the battle ended, I ran off to get some paper towel to kill the fucker. And that's why we're on that screen for so long. But anyway, second overall on the team, which is not too bad at all, our aircraft carrier finished first, rightly so. That aircraft carrier did one hell of a job because the one time that I got attacked, or well, the first time that I got attacked by planes, enemy planes, they were almost already all dead. So yeah, kudos to that player. Anyway, that is today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to leave any comments you have for me in the video comment section below. I do love reading those and responding back to them. Remember to hit the old like button if you liked today's video. Hit subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And as always, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day.